Hello my friends, some tips from our house. I was in the toy fair or the Etsy toy fair in Nuremberg and one of our incidents, Mr. Matthias Crick, he's um, it's a family um, a company, Crick, is uh, founded 60 years ago and it's only the name here for high quality models which are built in very, very special details with boats, um, wooden boats and um, you know the Gruno baby, the Clem and these are the model kits we know it from, from the beginning um, and uh, 60 years ago I wasn't born and the father was, has found it and uh, Matthias Krieg, the son, um, increased that level and he's a very special and fine person and you see very fine tools he sell and I will show you something about that. I found it this year on the toy fair and these are the tools. Um, this is from the model craft, some tools. I will explain. Okay, this special one. This is a, um, a flush cutting saw. Yeah? And there is no strength inside, it's very clear and in one line the, the tools here and the, if you get something like a, a, like a flat and you build something through it like a wooden stick or something uh, like that you can put it here with your fingertips, the profile here and there and it, then you cut it, you cut it without damaging the physical shear. Is it, is it clear? Okay. Because they got no string inside, but it's flexible. You see, it's flexible and you get it nice and easy through. It's a very good detail and you can use it as well, like, an, uh, like a, a saw, a, a cutting saw. And you know the other, the razor saw, there is the, the back here is like, um, it's, it's to this point here, right over there, and you can cut the wood like that. And now you can cut it also, but you can go, because there is no um, um, shaft here to this point, um, you can go through the wooden all the time, yes? Uh, be careful because if you're going up and it's make, you can cut it, uh, you can break it. Um, it's not easy. Everything go this way, down to go through the wood. And you have a uh, very, very good uh, cut on the line. I use it in my, uh, my, um, my manufacturer right over there. It's very, very good. A tip. Okay. No string, no damage on the fiddler. If you're going over this point, um, and um, nice and easy to use. Okay. This is one tip I saw. The other one is see, it's used now. I try to damage this um, uh, diamond. Um, what you call it? This is a, um, a fighter, we say it in Germany. Okay. Um, I put a metal um, steel and it going through the metal. It's very, very strong. Um, and um, it, there is a cone nose here, right over there. It's uh, nearby uh, a half a millimeter or something thinner to three millimeters to the middle and it's going to the other side in the same way, linear down. It's very nice to use if you've got a broken, um, uh, broken uh, elements uh, like a CFK um, fuselage and it's cut. Then you go with this and make the cut wider. Yes? And the um, uh, demulated um, um, CFK, the glass, is away, and the the cut 
you have opened it and after that you can very um, easy to fix it with epoxy tarts, the cut with the, um, uh, yeah, with the glass behind and um, it's the, the cuts you can make it very um, easy and the, uh, if you're going with the paper on it, with the sandpaper, you get a very nice um, yeah, uh, repair with this um, special tool to make the cut open, the damaged cut open and to fill it. It's very easy to use and normally you can, uh, you can use the diamond um, um, fuselage for, for nice um, surfaces. Now, the other thing is we get a special tool. It's with diamond um, surface as well. It's a big cone nose, you see? So like five millimeters or four millimeters to zero. It's very, very thin at the top of here. And if you make scale models, you often have the problem that the, you, get the, you didn't get the, uh, um, the right drill for that. Yeah? 1.3 or 1.6 or 1.8, you can make it with that here. And you go in inside and you're working, it, you get very nice holes inside your uh, details. Uh, and okay, and then you can change it with other components like a cone, like a thinner conus, like that one, this is the bigger one, this is thinner and the angel is very, very smooth, so you get very nice holes uh, and a flat one. So this is a very nice tool and very strong, and you can it live a long uh, a long time. You can use it because it's a high, high, high quality. So <clears throat> Crick knows that because they. Um, <coughs> deliver especially for the scale models, uh, ships and uh, boats, and we know them from the uh, kits uh, in our, for our aircraft, scale aircraft, semi-scale aircraft like the Gunau Baby and um, um, Clem, and so on and so on. And um, especially is one of the persons who knows how to build scratch buildings, uh, scratch uh, models, and um, these tools are special. Um, yeah, choose from him because he wants to get the best of material to make the best, and this is the uh, theme from uh, the family Crick, and um, they always make the best for us. So, next, I found is this lamp you see right over there, there's a LED inside and there if you open the clap there is a glass you see this is a we call it lupe what you call it um, I see it. Um, it's an <laughs> read it. it's a glass lens okay <laughs> and the glass lens if you get some problems here oh you see every problem. <laughs> so you fix it and um, it's very nice to use if you've got scale cockpits for your jets or scale cockpits um, and you have to always to look with, uh, without uh, with the lens and after that you cook with, uh, you're looking with the lens inside you see everything and you can manage everything. It's easy. It's, very, it's necessary to get it. And the light, it's a daylight LED here, and it's, it's very, it's nice. You have, you have to work with that. I put it on my desk uh, in my office and worked uh, last week with that. And it's better looking there. Eh? 
Okay, it's a very nice detail. And um, <laughs> yeah, do you remember that the uh, the persons uh, makes your juice? <laughs> Teeth, um, they get the same um, quality. Okay, and they do the best for us as well as they make the medicines, and you can use it everywhere. And uh, nice detail. You get it in the shop. Uh, it's a Crick shop, and um, there are many other uh, lens inside there. Tools, two hundred tools. Uh, they are choose in high quality. Then he, it's. It's nice to have, yes, and it's a must to have because you don't have enough money to uh, give it to bad tools. So I think it's a nice shoes. Taste it, go inside, have a look, and um, now the other scene. If you make a um, crash with a form model like that. Yeah. This is my Viper from Tomahawk Design. I'm flying it often um, and I want to uh, show the ants uh, where they can go inside uh, the, the ground huh? and from too, too deep and make a crash over the nose and the nose is broken and very, very uh, yeah, elastic now. Not, and I don't want to buy a new one. Why? But it's looking awful, isn't it? It's an awful sign. Now, quick as well, get a special, they get the uh, Wonderfill. It's a one component uh, form, a more called, yes. I will, I will read it, what they, where is English? Oh, Okay, you put it on side, don't touch it with your fingers, make it with the, um, with the metal plate, you go inside and put it on. It's nice and easy to put it on. So, okay, you get it here, okay, and fill it up. After minutes, it's um, ready to make um, the sandpaper. On it and uh, fill it up. If the, if the nose is uh, clear in the um, new um, form, you will harden it with that. It's not a. It's elastic, plastic elas uh, elastic like that. And now you have to make it more harder. So you need that one. This is a uh, form amor and. Um, the former more is designed to be used on the parts of the model subject to wear and tear. It sets to the thought waterproof skin increasing strength and improving surfaces, finish and applying decals. It's after 10, 20 minutes it's ready. You only put it uh, on with an, um, with an uh, swam. And um, or with a pencil, yeah, you go in over like that, and uh, it's finished. And if you want to do something on a top, so have a look right over there from the landing, it's very rough and uh, it's not looking fine. You go with the sandpaper on it and put this one, it's similar like epoxy, yeah, similar, similar, yes, what. One component. It's on the water basic. It smells a little bit. And um, you're going up and down. You make it um, with a pencil, I think, pencil is called. Um, or with a brush, right over there. And then with the sandpaper, after 10 minutes, it's ready. You make go with a over it to, and you have a nice and smooth uh, surface. After that, in the glass, um, 25 gram, and put it on it, and then again. So you get a sandwich, yes, and it's very, very hard and strong. 
and you can do it with the nose as well. Yeah? And if you want to do something on the top, there is an, um, a high gloss finish, uh, and you can this is a spray application, uh, but you can uh, put it on the brush or spray application, and it's uh, ready um, for the second coat you bring it on it. And they are, uh, the petrol um, doesn't um, doesn't um, um, make a damage. Okay, it's in high resistant, and there's a pipette inside for the uh, 2K uh, components. It puts there's a sign, uh, 25 millimeters, 50 milliliter, um, 75 milliliter, 100 milliliter, and uh, here's a pipette to make the um, catalyst on it. So you get a two component high gloss um, spray for the brush. Yes? and um, only for the pencil to make it harder and harder and harder so we have much more fun with our models it's better to repair it with this or to uh, buy a new fuselage okay same problem here i get uh, a little accident in in this winter with this uh, nice model and after repairing that there are some places they have to be um, um, filled up and then take this one it's very very light yes, and a little bit harder um, to make it harder with this component or with this component um, so I have something easy to fix it nice to fix it so no, so nobody can see it uh, that there is that there was a damage right over there so these are tools and some, th uh, some special things from Krik Model Technik. Um, all, all the time they do the best for us. And um, have a look on this side from him. Uh, go to, um, there's a little banner, or go to a new catalog. Inside there's a, there's a site from uh, Matthias Krik, uh, Krik Model Technik. Go on this side in the shop and have a look what they all can do for us. Okay, bye bye my friends. This was a tip and um, hope you enjoy it. Be in touch and you know RC modeling is most awesome.